everybody and welcome to Miata channel. Today's topic is the 2023 Miata and we're going to be talking about the configurations and the options that are available for the latest model. Now not much has changed between 2022 and 2023. Feature wise it's pretty much the way it was in 2022. There aren't really new options. There is a new color which we'll talk about in just a little bit but I'm going to kind of go over the different models, the different configurations and how that's going to work out for 2023. Now these cars are arriving at dealers right now and if you want to order a club I recommend that you do it in the next few weeks or you're probably going to miss out on the window for 2023. The first model we're going to talk about is the Sport. Now the Sport's kind of the base model. It comes with 16 inch wheels. It doesn't come with any of the fancy options. Uh, it does come with the infotainment system. It comes with a manual transmission only and there's not a lot of configuration you can do on it. Also, it only comes in two colors, jet black and soul red crystal metallic. That's it. The other thing about the Sport model is it is only available in soft top. There is no Sport RF. The RF is only club and grand touring. And the starting price of the Sport is $28,050. Now there's probably going to be some situations that people are going to say, hey Zeke, you know, they actually made this car even though you said they didn't make it. And yeah, that happened last year. There were all these weird cars that came up like a Platinum Quartz Sport model and, and things like that. And yeah, there's going to be some outliers here, but this is basically going off of Mazda's configurator online. Now the next model we're going to talk about is the Club, which comes in both soft top and RF. Now the thing about the Club is just like last year, this is build to order only. And that means that you need to go to the dealer, you need to place an order, you need to wait a few months, and then you'll get your car. The nice thing about the Club is that it comes in every color that Mazda offers for the Miata. Soul Red Crystal Metallic, Jet Black, Machine Gray, Snowflake White, Deep Crystal Blue, Platinum Quartz, which is that kind of beigey color from last year, and this year there's a new color called Zircon Sand that looks like this. And the first thoughts that went through my head when I saw this were, ow, oh, ow, ow, you're killing me. Ow, ow, you're killing me. Who at Mazda comes up with these colors because that right there is by far the most awful color ever put on a Miata. I wanna know who comes up with these colors because every year they get worse and worse. And I, I don't know why. If you go all the way back to like 2011, we've had the same basic color palette. We've had a red and a blue and a whole bunch of white and gray. And now we've added beige. Now we've got two shades of beige. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> and then I go online and I see all the people talking about how fabulous this color is. I'm like, are you kidding me? This color makes a Miata look like a dog turd that sat and dried in the sun for a while. It's that bad. I'm sorry. This is like the most disgusting color. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get back to the car. So again, with the club, we got two models, soft top RF, manual only, build to order. And some of the things that you'll note about the club is that it comes with the piano black mirrors on it. It comes with a cloth interior with gray stitching. And the MSRP for a soft top is $31,550. The MSRP for an RF club is $38,950. Now the first question I'm sure people are gonna ask is how come the RF club is so much more expensive than the soft top? And that's because on the soft top, the Brembo Recaro BBS option is a $4,500 add-on option with the RF, it's standard equipment. You can't order an RF club any other way. Now the club doesn't really have a lot of options you can add to it. You can add the appearance package, which is like 800 bucks. You can add other little things like all weather floor mats or the door sills or the roadside assistance kit, which I personally don't recommend because it takes up a bunch of room in your trunk. But like I said, if you want a club, better get your order in now because I'm sure they're gonna close it in a few weeks. But anyway, let's move on to the next model, which will be the Grand Touring or the GT as most people call it. And the GT is the only one that comes with an automatic transmission. Now the automatic transmission can also be manually shifted down on the console or with the little flappy paddles on the steering wheel. I know there's gonna be people out there that tell me that it's just as good as a stick, but no, no, I'm sorry. 
I've driven both. But don't get me wrong here, because I know there's people out there that say, Oh my, who buys a Miata with an automatic transmission? That's a travesty. And I'm not one of those people, so don't even go there. The automatic transmission is a lot more fun than a lot of these people make it out to be. And I guarantee you a really large percentage, like 95% of those people have never ever driven an ND with an automatic, especially not a 2022 or up. Because I have, and I can tell you that they're insanely fun. It's not the same experience as a stick, I'll agree. And there are things that make me prefer the stick. The automatic shifts faster than a manual. You can't shift as fast as that transmission does. Yeah. <laughs> it's still a slush box, I'm sorry. When I tell it to shift, it doesn't shift immediately. There's still a delay from the time I hit that button to the time that gear kicks in. And when I'm driving a manual, when I put it in gear and I release that clutch, that gear is there. But all you haters out there ragging on the automatic, I suggest you go drive one before you start opening your mouth about it. The Grand Touring comes in the following colors. Soul Red Crystal Metallic, Jet Black, Machine Gray, Platinum Quartz, Snowflake White, and the absolutely hideous Zircon Sand. I'm sorry, I just hate that color. It just screams to me, this car needs to be wrapped. <laughs> the standard interior in a GT is black leather, but with certain colors, you can also get the terracotta leather interior. The terracotta leather interior is available with the following colors. Machine Gray, Snowflake White, and Platinum Quartz. The GT soft top starts at $33,050. The GTRF starts at $35,750. Now this is for the standard transmission. You can get the GT with a standard or an automatic. The soft top with an automatic starts at $33,500. The RF with an automatic starts at $36,300. And like 2022, one of the big features for 2023 is kinematic posture control, which is a cool feature that uses the ABS and a bunch of sensors to reduce body roll when you're going around a corner. And I recently drove a 2022 with this feature, and I have to say I love it. It's awesome. It does a really good job of leveling the car out. And I was amazed at how well it worked and how seamless it was. You couldn't even tell when it was kicking in really cool feature and it definitely improves the handling of the Miata a lot. And I'm going to talk about this feature a little bit more in my next video which is a review of a 2022 Grand Touring Miata. And I have to say it definitely makes me think about trading my NC in. Not going to happen right now but it might happen in the future. Who knows? Anyway that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.